How much would you pay for an extra year to live? It's morbid to think about, but not unreasonable if the only thing keeping you healthy costs $750 a pill. Pharmaceuticals make up a huge section of our healthcare system, but when someone's health is at stake, some deeply moral questions come up. How are they marketed? Who pays for them? And how much should they cost? Regardless of how you feel about any of these, one thing is certain. Medications are not going away anytime soon. In fact, just the opposite is probably true. For people over the age of 65, 44% of men and 57% of women are prescribed more than four. Four medications could be extremely necessary, but after this number, the probability of a drug interaction goes up exponentially. Every drug and every drug's potential interaction with every other drug is an astronomically large search space. But what if we had the perfect doctor at our fingertips? A doctor that could predict whether an interaction would occur and make all the necessary adjustments before any risk came onto the patient. Over the last 10 weeks, a joint effort between Indiana University's Star AI Lab and ProHealth RU site have worked on a machine learning model that uses natural language processing on data from three sources, OpenFDA's drug label database, scientific studies from PubMed, and patient perspectives from a variety of social blogs. The LSTM network we've developed can predict interactions with a 73% accuracy, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're continuing to apply more rigorous models with additional data, and this number will only go up from here. This problem costs thousands of lives and millions of dollars every year. But with our research, we are one step closer to being able to make safer choices about our medications and personal health.